It feels so good to finally record again. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to do this. Jesus Christ. Okay. Question one. Are you working alone or with a small crew? I am so glad you asked. You know, I should probably make this a separate video at some point, but it's primarily just me. Like, I'm literally doing this whole thing by myself. So if you're wondering, like, why is it taking so long? Well, for one thing, animation takes long in general, even if you have a team of people helping you. But the fact that I'm literally just one person doing literally everything, like, you know damn well it's gonna take even longer. Like, I apologize, but that's just how it is. So I don't technically have a crew. I do have a few, like, freelancer friends that I hire occasionally, but they're not really my crew. They're just freelancers that I hire, so... Yeah, I'll have to make a more detailed video explaining my process, but yeah, it's primarily just me. What made you think of the plot? What inspired you to make the series? Bro, I am such a huge vampire fan. It's like not even funny. I remember, I think like, like the 2009-2012 era was like obsessed with vampires for some reason. I remember My Babysitter is a Vampire came on Disney Channel in 2010. And then I remember Adventure Time started in like 2009 and Marceline has always been like my favorite character. So yeah, like I think those shows, those two shows in general is like what sparked my love for vampires. That's what inspires me to create. On a scale of 1 to 10, how homosexual? 12. Will the characters each go through their own arcs? Um, probably not all of them. I think mostly just William and Callum, I guess. Because that's really who the series is focused on, is William and Callum's relationship. So, like, William 100% will go through an arc throughout the series. You know, he is the most popular character, so I'm going to be focusing on him the most, you know? But yeah. Bro, if I sound nasal, I just want you to know, like, I am not sick anymore. I have felt fine for over a week and a half now. I feel great, but I did just come from outside, and it's like 40 degrees outside. So if I'm sniffly, that's why. I am not sick anymore. Will there be more characters introduced in episode 2? Technically, yes, but they're not main characters. They're just, like, background characters that nobody really cares about. Um... So, technically, yes, there will be, but they're not important. Are William's parents alive, and are they vampires like him? Yes, and yes. William's parents are indeed vampires, they are alive, and... Yeah, that's how William was born, actually. He wasn't turned into a vampire, he was actually born as a vampire, because his parents are also vampires, so... Yeah. I should probably post a picture of what they look like. I have drawn them before. This is me inserting a picture of what William's parents look like. What were the inspirations for the characters? Bro, I am so glad you asked. Dude, I am such a huge Fire Emblem fan. It is literally no secret that William is a carbon copy of Felix Fire Emblem. I am so, so sorry if you guys are like just finding out about this, but Felix is like my favorite male character in Three Houses. And I think I think Mercedes is my favorite female character in Three Houses. But yeah, like with Felix, like, bro, William and Felix literally have the same personality, they have very similar appearance, and they're even voiced by the same guy in English. Like, dude, it's just to a fault. Right? And I have no shame in that. There's a lot of people who do things like that. Like, in all types of shows, you have characters that are based on other characters, or even people in general, right? So, like, there's no shame in doing that, as long as you change it enough to the point where it's not, like, exactly identical, right? I, I know William and Felix have, like, very similar personalities, but, like, I don't want them to be exactly the same. For example, I think Felix does not like sweets. He literally does not have a sweet tooth. But I want William to have one, because that'll, like, set him apart. It'll make him different, you know? I am so sorry. I just used this as an excuse to talk about Fire Emblem. I'm so sorry. I love Fire Emblem. It's so much fun. 
Oh, speaking of which, speaking of which, Felix finally won the Choose Your Legends, you guys. I am so happy. I know you guys probably have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, but bro, if you know what I'm talking about, it's been five freaking years and he finally won. I just had to put that out there. Sorry, back to the questions. Okay. Is Chase gonna have any character development, backstory, or relevance to the plot in the future? Yes, bro. I have a plan to make like a five episode season, which is probably gonna take like five years to come to fruition. But I want Chase to be in episode four and five. I don't think he's not gonna be in episode three. But yeah, like Chase will have like a very important role in this series. So I guess stay tuned for that. It's probably gonna be a while, but yeah. Who's the character you had the most difficulty writing? I don't know, cause like, all of my characters are fairly easy to write for. If I had to just throw an answer out there, I mean, there's a character that I have yet to introduce in the series of Revamped, but I've, I've drawn pictures of him before. His name is Juno, and he is my trans vampire OC. Bro, writing his character is probably the hardest for me, because number one, he's trans, and number two, he's also non-binary. So like, I had to do like a shit ton of research, I had to give my script to a couple of trans people to see what they thought about it. Because I'm not trans myself, so I, I don't want to do something wrong, so I just had to make sure I'm doing this correctly. And all the people who have read that script have said that they really liked it, so I'm glad. Glad I'm doing a good job. Representation is awesome, and I can't wait for you guys to meet this character one day. It's gonna be so great. Does Callum have a brother? Yes, he does. He has one older brother, and his name is Kyle. What is Callum's ethnicity? So, I'm gonna be honest with you. The word ethnicity confuses the crap out of me. I always get it so confused with race. Like, like if you're asking what his race is, like, he's mixed, you know? Callum is mixed. Not fully black, but also not fully white. You know, he's a combo. Uh, I hope that's what you were asking for. I don't know what ethnicity is. That word confuses the crap out of me. I'm so sorry. Like, what is his nationality? I don't know. Like... I mean, he's an American. I don't know. I'm so bad at this, I'm sorry. Will there be more than one season? How many episodes do you plan to make? So, again, I'm only one person. If I had a team of people, we probably could make more episodes faster. But since I am only one person, I plan on making like a five episode season one but it's gonna take like years and years for that to come to fruition, right? I'm still working on episode two as we speak, so yeah. Will we find out how Rose and Valerie got together? So fun fact, the show Revamped actually started out as a webcomic. You can actually still look for it on Webtoon if you just search Revamped. Like, you literally cannot miss it. And I, I feel so bad, because I have not updated that webcomic in like three or four years now. The reason why I haven't updated it in three years is because I started working on the pilot, and now the pilot and the show is my main focus, so I haven't had time to do the webcomic anymore. But if you want to know how they, I guess, got together, the first few episodes of the webcomic is their origin story, I guess. William and Callum didn't even exist three years ago when that webcomic started. So now I'm questioning, like, is the story even canon anymore? The way how Rose and Valerie met each other, is that canon anymore? I don't know if I want it to be canon. I don't know if I want to change it. That's crazy. Do you have any concept art of the characters? Yes, I do. Uh, insert montage of me inserting artwork of the characters, please. Do any of your characters ever crave a certain person's blood? Yeah, episode two is about William trying to avoid Callum because his blood just smells so good. Do you know how hard that must be? Like, like imagine your favorite food. I think my favorite food is spare ribs. Imagine like going to school and the entire school just smells like spare ribs or meat in general. That would be so fucking hard. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, being a vampire is crazy. Will there be a villain in this? 
Okay, so besides Chase, like, I think Chase is literally the antagonist of season one. So if you want to count him as the villain for right now, then sure. If I could have more seasons, then yes, I would love there to be another villain in this, but unfortunately, like, again, I'm one person, so... No true villain yet. Does William ever cut his hair, or does he prefer it long? I think he 100% prefers it long. I think William uses his hair as, like, an extension of his body. You know, he likes to use it to express himself, so he wants to keep it as long as possible. Okay, will William get comfortable with hugs? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes, oh my gosh. I want William and Callum's relationship to, like, start slowly, because that's technically how relationships start, like, you gotta start slow. At first, he was not a fan of Callum hugging him, but the more Callum did it, the more he started to get used to it, and now I feel like it's gonna get to the point where he starts asking for hugs and he accepts them, and it's gonna be so cute, and I'm so excited, but it's gonna take forever for us to get to this point, dude. <sighs> but it'll all be worth it. I'm so excited. Will William tell Callum that he's a vampire? Yes, yes he will, eventually. It's gonna be really rocky, but he will eventually. With the way how I have the series set up, for the five episode season that I wanna do, I guess maybe I can give you guys, like, the rundown of the timeline. I don't think it's a spoiler. I want to tell you guys the story anyway. So, episode one was the pilot. We introduced the new characters, blah blah blah. That's how pilots work. Episode two is the blood drive, right? William has a really hard time keeping his secret because of all the blood in the air. I don't want to spoil too much, but, you know, William starts to get a little closer to Callum in episode two. At the very end of episode 3, I want William to ask Callum out on a date, and then episode 4, they go on said date, you know, with a bunch of hijinks that ensue as well. But at the end of episode 4, I want William to finally allude to Callum that there's something he needs to tell him, and then episode 5 is like the big coming out episode where William like finally reveals that he's a vampire, but it's not gonna be easy. You know, coming out is never easy. Isn't that crazy? Like, William doesn't need to come out as gay. He needs to come out as a vampire. That is so fucking hard, dude. Can you imagine that? Jesus. Can you believe that this question was about asking for hugs? Oh my god. I went on such a huge tangent. I am so sorry. Are they the same age or is William repeating a grade? Bro, whoever asked this question, you are so fucking smart. I should probably stop cussing. Whoever asked this question, you are so smart. Out of the four main characters, Callum is currently the youngest. I want him to be like 15 and 9 months. And then Rose and Valerie are 16. But William is 17, right? And they're all sophomores. So where I come from, typically you start sophomore year at the age of 15 and then you become 16. So the fact that William is 17 obviously implies that he had to have repeated a grade. And I want to say, I want to say the reason why he repeated a grade is because he probably wasn't emotionally ready to start school. It's like that one episode of Arthur. If you guys have ever seen Arthur on PBS Kids, first of all, a goaded show. Second of all, you should probably watch Arthur. But there was an episode where... We found out that the brain was supposed to be in the fourth grade, just like Prunella. But he got held back because he used to cry a lot, and they thought he wasn't ready for school. So that's why he got held back. Which is crazy, because the brain is like the smartest character in the show, so you wonder, like, how the hell are you repeating a grade? But yeah, I want to say William just was not emotionally ready to start school, so that's why he got held back. What powers and weaknesses do vampires have in this universe? Okay, so in order to make things easier, uh, obviously vampires have to be able to go out in the sunlight. I want to say like a normal amount of exposure to sunlight is fine, but once you start getting like those insane UV rays from the sun, like, like when you go to the beach and you start getting sunburned because of the sun's UV rays, like that's when things start to get a little crazy. I mean, I don't know if you guys know about the electromagnetic spectrum, right? Like, I mean, I was a 6th grader at one point. 
So I guess sunlight is technically visible light, right? Sunlight is considered visible light. And then you have UV rays, X-rays, and then gamma rays, right? So I feel like anything above the visible light spectrum is probably like really harmful to a vampire, if I had to guess. But that's just one thing. So they can go out in the sunlight, they just can't be exposed to it for too, too long. I mean, obviously they have super strength, super speed, really good sense of smell, they can fly. Uh, I want to say like really experienced vampires can probably put people in trances. Fun fact, I was going to give William that power in the pilot to put people in trances, but then I realized if I give him that power, he literally will not learn anything, right? Every time he makes a mistake, he can just make someone forget about it and he'll never learn anything. So I decided to do away with that power, at least for now. I think super experienced vampires can put people in trances, but even for someone like William who's been a vampire his whole life, he still cannot do that yet. I guess for weaknesses, they're allergic to garlic. The harsh sunlight is bad for them. What else? What else should be a weakness? I mean, obviously a wooden stake can kill them. Isn't that crazy? Like, vampires literally cannot die unless they are killed. That's crazy. They can't die of natural causes, right? Unless you count the sun as a natural cause. I don't know. But yeah, I guess those are just a few examples. I don't have everything off the top of my head, but, but yeah. How often do vampires need to feed? Will any of the vampire characters drink someone's blood? How often should they feed? I still have not, like, come up with that idea yet. I don't know. I mean, they definitely do not need three meals a day like humans do. Should it be like, should it be like, maybe like, I don't know, maybe a few cups every week? I don't know. I do not know yet. I want to say, like, they can go days without blood, but, like, I just, I don't have, like, I don't have a huge system yet. Will any of the vampire characters drink someone's blood? I want to say yes, but that's all I'm going to say. So, have fun with that. What's everyone's worst fear? I thought it was funny to give Valerie, like, a fear of elevators. I don't know why. I just think it's funny to have a fear of elevators. It's, it's silly. Um... Rose? I mean, Rose is my self-insert OC, so I literally have no idea what she would be afraid of, which is kind of ironic, but yeah. Callum? You know, Callum is such a sweet boy. He's such a sweet boy. Bro, he's probably afraid of his own shadow if it wasn't attached to him, you know? I think Callum probably is afraid of monsters, which is the exact reason why William doesn't want to tell Callum that he's a vampire because he knows that Callum is, like, afraid of monsters, so... In the words of Zuko from Avatar, that's rough, buddy. Um, and then William's worst fear. I feel like he has a fear of abandonment. That's why he has no friends. Maybe he had a friend one time when he was younger, and then they left him, and that's why he doesn't want friends anymore, and that's why he can't tell Callum that he's a vampire, because he's afraid Callum's gonna leave him. So, yeah, that's rough, buddy. Do William and Callum kiss? Will they ever go on a date? Yes, as I stated previously, if I do get to make an episode four, they will indeed go out on a date and they will experience their first kiss with each other. It'll be so cute. I actually have a comic based on episode four. If you guys want to see it, you can look on my Instagram, uh, probably my Twitter, like, bro, it's so cute. Is William a rich boy? Because I get the feeling he is. So, he's not the richest character in the show, but he definitely is on the the wealthier side. I want to say his father is like a semi-famous author, and because of that, they typically are pretty wealthy. He definitely does have more money than he knows what to do with. When will we see negative? Oh my gosh, I am so excited to start boarding episode 3, but at the same time, I still need to finish episode 2 first. Episode 3 is literally going to be my magnum opus. I am so excited for what episode 3 has in store, but I, I can't start working on episode 3 until I finish episode 2. So please, please, bro, stay tuned for episode 3. 
I'll probably start boarding it sometime towards the end of the year, whenever I finish episode two. It's going to be so great. Oh, we made it to the last question. Okay. Who is the Pomeranian? Oh my gosh. This is Pancake. His name is Pancake, and he belongs to Callum. He is Callum's puppy. I mean, I don't know if you can call him a puppy. He's a dog. He's Callum's dog. At the end of the day, his name is Pancake, and he is Callum's dog. Yeah, I think we managed to get through all the questions. Thank you guys so much for asking them. My- oh my god, my fucking nose is so congested right now, and I'm not even sick. I need to go blow out my nose again, but thank you guys so much for these questions. Uh, have a nice day. Please. Please have a nice day. Bye.